Welcome back to Living 808. Onizuka Day of Exploration is Hawaii's largest STEM event, and it's happening this Saturday at the University of Hawaii West Oahu campus. And our good friend, Aleem Shabazz from Big Tire Boot Camp, he's also a volunteer chairman and is here to tell us more about the big day. So you, we've seen you in uniform before, but this is a new uniform. This is a new uniform, yeah. This is the Boy Scouts of Aloha, uh, excuse me, Boy Scouts of America for the Onizuka Day of Exploration. So super excited about this event. Yes, and oh my gosh, your guns are filling this one out too, Aleem. <laughs> right, this is a medium. Yes, but we're not talking working out today, although we should. Yes. Um, but it's an exciting day. So the Onizuka Day of Exploration, can you tell us more about it as well as its significance? Absolutely. So it's the longest running STEM event in Hawaii, and it's the largest STEM event as well. So it's been going around for about 112 years. It's actually the longest um, scouting event in the United States. So it brings together the best of science, technology, engineering, math for the Keiki of Hawaii. And we're super excited about it this year because they get a chance to engage, learn more, do more, and uh, really come out and uh, have a good time as far as just learning, engaging, and uh, being around um, you know, experts in the field. So Yeah, and, and let's talk a bit more about that. The people that do attend, what are some of the experiences that they'll see at the event? Absolutely, yeah. So we got a full day plan today. So it's this Saturday, April 22nd at UHS Oahu. We've got an astronaut from NASA, Dan Tani, who's going to be doing a guest talk. Uh, we've got retired HPD officer Chris Caravallo from Mana Comics, who's going to be doing a comic talk as well. And over 100 interactive booths and displays for the uh, families to come out and enjoy. So awesome. lots, a little bit of everything for, for, for folks today. So Over 100? Over 100 booths, yeah. And awesome. we also have 60 workshops. And I believe there's going to be a guest appearance by the Mandalorian Mercs cosplay team. So oh, fun. if you're a fan of those, you know, yes. come check us out. Oh, so. that's always a good time. Okay, and it's free, right? It is. Okay, so how can the public participate? Yeah, it's free 99, so everybody <laughs> can come on out, plus free parking. Just come on out and join us. It's from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at UH West Oahu, so plenty of parking, plenty of space. Uh, we do recommend to come early because we're anticipating anywhere between six to 8,000 uh, folks, so it's going to wow. be a pretty good size event. Um, but again, all the workshops are free, all the presentations are free. All you have to do is just bring yourself, plan accordingly for the day. And the good news is you actually don't have to be a scout to participate. So it's okay. open to the entire, the entire public, and we're really just trying to promote STEM, make it fun, and engage that next generation who's going to solve our problems. So. I love that. Now, you mentioned some of the workshops and, and the experiments. What are, what are some of those? What can people, maybe, maybe a couple yeah, of what absolutely. you've seen in the past. So there's a forensics um, workshop where they actually have a whodunit. So there's going to be like a crime scene. Fun. And the forensics teacher is going to actually recreate a crime scene. And the students and the kids get to actually pretend, you know, what are the clues? What are we looking at? Yeah. Uh, there's a VEX robotics competition as well. Mm -hmm. um, there's speed cubing. So I don't know if you've ever seen these, but these are these amazing kids that have these Rubik's cubes that can solve them under like five seconds. Yes, it's very rude. Yeah. I can't even do it after five days. Yeah. And so the fact that they can do it in five seconds. Absolutely. I'm like, oh. I okay, remember I feeling see your superiority. Off that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, so a lot of different events. We've yeah. got the military who have some static displays. So there's not one, not two, but three helicopters coming out. Awesome. So we've got an Apache, a Black Hawk, and a Coast Guard Dolphin that'll be on display. Okay, so a, a bit ago we saw some pictures of the helicopter. Yes. Was that in years past? That then? was last year, yeah. Oh, so okay. last year we were at Pearl Harbor Aviation Museum. Oh, cool. And this year we're at UH West Oahu. So we're excited <laughs> to bring back some of the um, previous exciting uh, events, but we've also got a lot of new ones as well. Okay, so, well then speaking yeah. of, how has the event evolved throughout the years? Well, it started as the Makahiki. So, like I said, it was 112 years in the making. Makahiki is kind of a traditional Hawaiian event, um, but it was more around scouting skills. And about seven years ago, it was reimagined to be a little bit more current with STEM and kind of re-engage the more current, you know, wave of things and things that were going on. So overall, it's been around for 112 years, but in its current form of the Onizuka Day of Exploration, it's been around for seven. So okay. we're super excited about that. And obviously such a great man, and what a legacy to be honoring. Can you share a bit more about Ellison Onizuka for Absolutely. those who don't know? Yeah, so for, for like kids for today, they may not remember, but Ellison Onizuka, he was a Kona-born astronaut, and so, you know, local here to Hawaii. He was on the 1986 Challenger, and so, you know, he, he, he pushed the frontiers, and so that kind of embodies what we're looking to do. It's like someone from a small island of Hawaii can go on to be, you know, really see the stars and kind of... In, in, 
empower that next generation to like go for more. Yeah. So it's in his honor and his legacy and his spirit that he pushed boundaries that we're trying to continue that with our next generation of kids. So. I love that. And if yeah. people want to push, the, push that with their children, they want to come out, um, what are the details? Where can we find more info? Absolutely. So onizukaday.com, that's our website. You can also follow us on Instagram at, at onizukaday. Mm -hmm. And again, it's this Saturday, April 22nd at UH West Oahu from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. Come one, come all, bring your friends, bring your family. And uh, there's a lot of there's a lot to do for everybody. Even the parents, they'll find, they'll find fun stuff as I well, was gonna so. say, I feel like you don't even have to have kids. This is great for anyone of all ages. Again, it is all free yep. and open to the public. That's happening this Saturday. So if you're looking for something super fun to do this weekend, make sure you check it out. Thanks Absolutely. so much, Aline, for being yeah, here. thanks, Kelly. It's a yeah. pleasure. So yeah, how did you get involved with Boy Scouts? I was voluntold. So I have oh. kids there in Scouts. I was a Scout myself. And then as you know, as a parent, you wanna help support them. And uh, yeah, all three of my kids are in Scouts. My oldest just got his eagle, but <gasps> no way, that's a feat. Congrats well, a, to him. I'll t I'll pass that along. Yeah, okay. so it's an all volunteer program, and all the parents. And so there's way more people than myself. There's like 200 volunteers who are helping to put this on, and we're all volunteers, either parents or you know involved with the scouting community. So, Wonderful. Well, yeah. thank you for being a part of it, and of course, thank you to all the volunteers as well. But make sure Absolutely. you check it out this weekend. We'll have all the details online. Thanks so much, Ali. Thanks, Kelly. <laughs>